This is a Luxlon Eco Rough. Just like the previous string review, the Luxlon Eco Power, Luxlon is claiming that this tennis string is 100% made from recycled materials. However, this is a textured poly, unlike the previous string. Let's see how this plays after hitting like, subscribe, and the notification bell for more original tennis content. Thankfully, this soft poly didn't require breaking period at all. Also, this feeling of the ball from the string band was firm, but also comfortable at the same time. Definitely stiffer than the Eco Power. Although I wouldn't consider it a spin monster, the spin potential from both the backhand and forehand were fantastic, along with a good launch angle, and surprisingly, a good amount of accuracy and control as well. The slices, especially the backhand slices up the line, were nothing short of amazing in terms of ball bite, directional control, and overall feel from the string band. And to no one's surprise, the flatter strokes like approach shots were top notch for this string. At the net, the positive spilled over. This is a flawless string at the net for both punchier volleys and finesse oriented volleys. As for the serve, this is a great string for both flat and slice serves. We will talk about the kick serves in a bit. But although this might seem like a perfect string, it actually kind of is, except for two things. One is a minor complaint and the other is uh, more major complaints. So let's talk about that right now. Let's start with a minor complaint. Although the top spin potential was excellent for the string, it did lack kick potential on second serves. The ball never really moves as much as I wanted to. Round polys like the Fury C4 and Yonex Poly Tour Pro, I'll leave a link to those in this corner if you haven't checked it out already, and also in the pinned comment, have had significantly more kick potential, and those are round non-textured polys. It can generate topspin, but not enough bite to get the ball to jump up to the backhand side of my righty opponent on the return. My big complaint about the string is actually the durability. Uh, pretty similar to the Luxlon Eco Power. If you thought the Eco Power had a short lifespan of three hours of straight hitting on court, well, the Luxlon Eco Rough lasted, well, pause the video and leave a comment down in the section below to guess how long it took me for me to break it. And no cheating. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. This string lasted less than 90 minutes of straight hitting on court. I hit with a D1 woman from France who hits a pretty heavy ball for an hour, and then I played a singles match against a buddy of mine, Andy, and it broke halfway through that singles match. And at $14.95 a packet US, this is not consumer friendly at all, even though overall it is a great string, if not maybe even an excellent string. And if you're curious, like mteka5093, he left a comment in my Luxlon Eco Power review, I did hit the sweet spot when it broke. This was not a mishit or a grommet break. So there were some comments on my last video of the Luxlon Eco Power that I was possibly mishitting it. Um, which is not the case. It does happen every now and then, but it was not the case. I should disclose it. Uh, this string, the Eco, Luxlon Eco Rough was clearly, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like right in the middle middle, but it's definitely like in the hitting spot and definitely not towards uh, the grommets at all. Um, I would consider this pretty damn near the sweet spot. That's where it broke. So just some evidence before I cut this up and uh, string it with my next one. Have you tried the Luxlon Eco Rough? If you did, did I hit the nail on the head or did I completely miss it? Leave a comment down in the section below or better yet, join my Discord to talk about all things tennis. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Link in the pinned comment as well. This was tested with my Diadem Nova V3 Tour and it was strong at 50 pounds, although the dynamic tension from the ERT300 said it was around 46, so I gotta figure that out. But as always, happy hitting.